what's up welcome back to the channel so today we are going to be doing a wash and go and i've already washed my hair and all of that but we're gonna get into that a little bit later in the video so let's go ahead and get into the video but before we do be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it get subscribed to my channel if you're new here turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every single time i upload which is every monday tuesday wednesday and friday and yeah let's go ahead and get into this video super fast because I want to tackle this hair while it's still wet now I am fresh out of the shower I just washed it this is what my curls are looking like fresh out of the shower so they look a lot a whole lot better from when they did my last video I think it was the flexi rod and I was like I ruined my hair and all that kind of stuff honestly I did cut off a lot of my hair but you guys know I think I only cut off like an inch or two so it wasn't that much damage done I've been taking tips from Faith and Curls if you guys don't know who Faith and Curls is she's like a curl god <laughs> no but she's really good at natural hair and she does um viva glam k hair and her daughter um i think her daughter named kalani i don't know i maybe said the name wrong i don't remember but she does their hair and she like made their hair like super curly and super cute but she has a youtube channel and she uh gives tips and tricks and stuff like that for different types of hair so i'll link her channel below if you guys are interested in checking her out um and her instagram below but i've been taking tips from her videos and her instagram and all of that so hopefully we can tackle uh a wash and go i haven't done a wash and go in years so hopefully we can do it and i know that she said to do this on um you want to keep your hair as wet as possible so i did not dry my hair at all i didn't uh, nothing it was like literally it's literally dripping wet so I didn't do anything to it just use the same two products that I used last time I didn't do the protein treatment I just did shampoo and conditioner this time I am going to use this Garnier Fructis Curl Treat Butter Hydrating because I've been obsessed with this and honestly it has been doing wonders for my hair so I mean at least I have moisturized for days guys days and I'm also going to be using this Curl's Daughter leave-in condition moisturizing leave-in conditioner it's a spray leave-in so i just kind of spray this all over my hair and then go in section by section with this and i want to do this while it's super wet <laughs> is why i'm talking like so fast because i want to do it while it's like soaked and wet and so i'm just gonna go ahead and spray on the Kara's daughter this stuff smells so good so good and i'm just gonna rub that through even though I'm taking tips from her, I am still going to do like what I normally would do with a wash and go. Even though it's been years since I did one, I am um, still going to try to remember what I would do with one. So, I'm going to take a little bit of the Garnier Leap Butter Hydration. And I like to work section by section, so I'm just going to part it like this. Take my detangler. So now that each part is kind of like detangled, what I like to do, and this is probably what most people don't like to do because it's, I mean, it's a wash and go, you're trying to hurry up and do it. But I just like to kind of make sure I still have a little bit of that product left on my hand and just go through curl by curl or section by section, not really curl by curl, just take like, you know, section by section and just kind of make sure each curl is detangled and make sure each curl is uh, moisturized so like I said you don't have to do this step I just like to do it and I've been doing this step a lot lately with my um, with my twist outs and stuff too and it just make my twist outs more defined and everything so As you guys can see just from doing those couple of steps it really does make your hair super curly so what I like to do next is just take a little bit of this gel a little bit goes a very long way with this so this is the Garnier Fertis Curl Treat Jelly Shaping 
and I just take a little bit when I say a little bit I mean a little bit rub it on my hands and do the same thing Right, and then you just want to keep going section by section with your hair. Now we can slow down and I don't have to rush and talk this fast. Now all you really want to do is just kind of scrunch up your hair but what I like to do is I like to take just a little bit more gel and honestly when I say a little bit this amount here and this is going to be enough for my entire hair because I don't want to wear my hair down with the gel and I like to just flip my hair over like this and then just scrunch it up as much as I can. And it takes a while to scratch it. You can see your curls actually forming as you do this. Maybe not 10, maybe five minutes. I might be reaching with the time. <laughs> and it just all just depends on your hair type as well, so. <laughs> okay. So now that we have it all like scratched out and everything, you guys can really see the curls like forming and everything is all curly and whatnot. And even though it's spring, it's still kind of cool outside and I don't want to go out there with my hair wet. Uh, you can leave it at the step and just go about your day, let it air dry. But I'm going to go ahead and diffuse mine. This is just one from Remington and it just has the diffuser clip on it. Um, I think she got it from Walmart. This is Teosha's. I use Teosha's because my diffuser clip, I don't know where the diffuser head is at. So, I'm using Teosha's. So, um, yeah. Now, I know like you can do like two to five minutes of scratching, but you definitely want to do at least ten minutes of diffusing. you can guys can see it has a lot more volume it's a lot bigger and you could leave it like this but I like to kind of cuz I don't know about y'all hair but my hair kind of gets smushed by the diffuser so I just kind of go around and just pull out any like flat areas or anything like that and yeah <laughs> that is pretty much it so I just go kind of flip it around you can do this with a peak but I actually like to do mine with my hands more so than a with a than a with a than with a pick. Um, and I 
I mean, I have bangs, if you guys didn't know that. Um, but I never really wear them like this because I just feel like my head looks so funny this way. Um, but I just, I just kind of go ahead and move it over to the side like that because I don't really keep it in the front. But yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, that's it, guys. My hair is, I would say, probably about 85% dry. It's not like 100% dry, but it's getting there. Now, this is my first wash and go in a really long time. So I didn't think that I would like it, but I like the way it turned out. And I like how, you know, my hair is looking right now. Um, and yeah, so let me know how you guys do your wash and goes. I think that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every single time I upload. And yes, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.